Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and just tape off this horizon line. You want their tape below the line. You want to make sure that it's pressed down really well so that it doesn't have any let paint up under any air pockets. So then we're going to start with um, a clean cup of water and a paintbrush. I'm going to use one of my one of these half inch paint brushes. Uh, I'm going to take it and I want my moon to be kind of dark around the edges and lighter in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the yellow and white. I've got this paint palette where I'm taking yellow and white and painting I'm just going to paint around the edges of my circle. I don't pick up the paintbrush until I'm either done with the line or I run out of paint. So I'm going to do that again. I'm using a little bit darker yellow. And then I'm just going to pick up more white and just do really um, make it lighter in the middle. Just put more white in there. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I want to do like dash marks. If you look how I'm holding my paint, my paintbrush, I'm doing dash marks that go around it. like this. Then I'm using more yellow so that I can have the darker yellow in there too. And then I'm just gradually going out from the center of the circle and just going round and round. Okay, so now I'm going to wash out my brush, and you want to make sure that you have a clean brush before you go to this next step. If it still has yellow in it, your yellow is going to, if you mix yellow and blue together, it's going to make green, and we don't want to do that, okay? Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to continue working on the sky. You, now I'm using, I've got some blue brown, black, and white on this. I do not want you to touch the brown or the black right now. That's going to be later for the dolphins. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, some blue and white and I'm just going to paint in circular motions. And some of it might get mixed in with your yellow right now because it's still wet, but you only want little dash strokes. Notice how I'm holding my brush. It's, if I want wider lines, I'm going to go like this. If I want thinner lines, I'm going to hold it like this. I can still get a thicker line if I press down into it. And you're just going to keep going round and round. You just want to keep going round and round. And I'm getting darker as I go out away from the, the moon. And I'm continuing my arches that's going in a circular motion around the circle that I started with. So I'm, I'm putting more white into my paintbrush. And then 
in some places I'm putting dark, a darker in it to it. And you're going to keep doing that until you get it looking like you want it to look. I feel like I have too much white showing in the center, so I'm going to go back and put some more blue. You also want to paint the edges of your um, canvas, like I painted the edges like that, right, like that right there, so that it's covered. And I might put some more yellow in it in a, in a few minutes. All right, now once you get to this point and you feel like that you're able to pull up the um, tape. You want to make sure you're done with the sky part before you do that. Okay, so now I've got the sky part done. I'm going to pull up my tape. And you should have a pretty decent line going across. And that's your horizon line. Now i got to do my water. Now I want a little bit of a a light reflection, reflection coming from the sun, or I mean the moon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the white and the yellow again, and make sure that I don't have any blue in my brush. Take the white and the yellow, and I'm going to kind of outline. going to get a little wider as it comes towards me. Okay. Then I'm going to take my blues and my whites. You could probably put some more yellow in there. Just a little bit. Okay. Then wash out your brush really well. And I'm going to make it darker as I'm up away from this, away from the lighter reflection. So I'm just using the blues. And I'm doing horizontal strokes that go sideways. Doing the same thing over here. But if you'll notice, if I'm up against the horizon line, I don't pick up my brush till I'm done with that line or I run out of paint. Okay, then I'm going to put some more white in it. Okay. 
Notice I'm still doing horizontal strokes. put just a little bit of blue in here. For the most part I want it to stay white. Still doing horizontal strokes. Notice how I'm holding my brush. Then I'm going to pause the video because we have to blow dry this before we do the stencils with the um, Dolphins. I'm just putting in a little bit more yellow. Putting in a little bit of the darker brownish gold where I want it while it's wet. Alright, so we're going to have to blow dry these to do the next step. 